Hi, this is Willie Crawford, and I want to give you a quick demonstration of how to rebrand the ebook that we're giving you as a tool to market our Stealth Traffic Tools package. What you're going to do from the site is you download a zip file, and that zip file will have two files, and it. it'll have a VDT file, which is actually the rebrandable ebook, and then you'll have a VDT brander, which is a tool we use for rebranding. VDT stands for Viral Document Toolkit. It's one of my favorite rebranding tools. Anyway, all you do after you unzip the file is you'll have uh, these two files. You open the brander by double clicking on it and this is what you'll see. Let me adjust this slightly. Up in the uh, upper left hand corner you'll see the open folder icon. You click on that, click on that and it'll browse to whatever folder, whatever directory you stored the file and what you're looking for though is this how to bookmark rebrandable.vdt file and you double click on that and it will open the rebrandable file. I'm adjust this again slightly. You'll, you'll see down in the bottom of this window here a, a couple of rebrandable links. There's only two in there and for both of these links, what's actually rebrandable is right here, it shows embedded link and it shows your CBID and then the rest of it. If you double click on the first link, it opens up this window and it shows you that this is the visible text in the document, but what you want to change is the embedded link behind the visible text. So you click on the embedded link and it comes over here and it shows you that what's there now is your CBID dot stealth tt dot hop dot clickbank dot net you want to change this your cbid to your clickbank id so for example one of mine is w crawford so i type w crawford so now the link will be changed to w crawford dot stealth tt dot hop dot clickbank dot net so all you're going to change in this document is just two places you're going to change your cbid to your actual nickname right here that's all you're going to change after you've done that, you click Next. It automatically advances to the only other place in the document where that link exists and where it can be changed. Again, you don't want to change the visible anchor text. You want to change the embedded link. So you click on the embedded link. And again, it shows your cbid.stealthtt.hop.clickback.net. You want to change that your cbid to your actual cbid. Again, mine is W. Crawford. So I change that make sure you spell it right and and I click next and it recognized that all of the rebrandable links in this document have now been changed so now let me adjust my window slightly okay now in the upper left hand corner you'll see a PDF icon if you click on that that tells the program to go ahead and rebrand those links. It tells you two items were branded. It says now click on that button again to save the document as a PDF file. You click OK. You go back up and click on this button again. And now what you're going to basically do is tell it what to name the file and also you can browse to whatever folder. So I'm going to browse. I have a folder called How to Bookmark Rebrandable Ebook, which is what this ebook is. And I'm going to call it um, How to bookmark Willie and you can call it whatever you want to basically you're going to be giving this ebook away to your website visitors and you're going to upload it to your server and send it as email attachment however you want to give it away to them and um, so you could call it something as simple as how to bookmark and it automatically gives it the .pdf file extension you click um, and, and you so if anything you want to ch change where you save it the, the folder location you can browse from here but click save and it tells you this is where I'm saving the file and it tells you it's going to open it uh, once the PDF is generated if you click OK it generates the PDF and it opened the file. So this is my file now. And there were two links changed in this file. One was this one right here. You see when I hover over it now, it shows that the link is actually wcrawford.stealthtt.hop.clickbank.net. The only other link in the document that was changeable was at the very end of the document. And that's this one. And again, it shows that it is wcrawford.stealth tt.hop.clickback.net. That's all there is to rebranding this ebook. It took all of three minutes. You just open the brander and from that browse, find the file, 
and click on the table in the bottom where it will show you the links to the rebrandable. Change in two places. Put your clickback ID and tell it to save. That's all there is to it. Go out, brand this ebook, give it out, use it to make you some massive money. It has a lot of really good information in it on how to bookmark and generate traffic from it. And your, your subscribers, your website visitors will really appreciate getting it. Thanks for your attention.